The final two don't have long to wait until one is crowned the next Conservative leader. Robert Jenrick, the former immigration minister who's put that issue at the centre of his campaign, and Kemi Badenoch, the former trade secretary, who says she'll tell her party hard truths. It's been a long contest. Have we learned a lot about the two final candidates? Much less than I think we should have. The problem with this contest is the party decided to go really long, but at the same time they confined the membership vote, when we only knew the final two, to just three weeks. And ballots dropped halfway through that process. So that meant we had months and months with loads of candidates in the race, but also that was the MP round. You'd think the MPs would have had a chance to get to know these people already. And then the actual choice that members are going to be making barely any time to scrutinise that. After 14 years in government under five prime ministers... That work begins immediately. Together, we can ride out the storm. No ifs or buts. We face a time of great national change. We can provide that strong and stable government. It's not since David Cameron that the party has elected a leader to go into opposition. How should they rebuild after catastrophic defeat? So the first thing is to think about, you know, why we lost. The second thing is, you know, what do we have to say? And then they need to be agile, they need to be reactive, but pick their fights, not fight over everything. And also get out and about. Now, when you're Prime Minister, you can't get out and about as much as you like. When you're leader of the opposition, with David Cameron, um, he started these camera directs, which sound very old-fashioned now. We thought it was very trendy to have a podcast and all this sort of thing. Graham Brady was elected in 1997. There is a huge difference between now and 1997. The Blair government remained very popular, and Tony Blair personally remained very popular, uh, through that whole parliament and beyond. And in 100 days or so, Keir Starmer has already uh, fallen way behind that. So I think we've got a great opportunity. I don't think we're up against uh, a, an insuperable challenge, but it's a big challenge. For years, the Conservative Party's battles and divisions have dominated the headlines. With a long road to the next election, the challenge for this leader may be getting noticed at all. Tamara Cohen, Sky News, Westminster.